find the number of ways to arrange the letters in the following words, parking and hydrologist. Okay, so I'm going to explain in this video how, how to do this kind of thing. Let's, let's just look at an example like A, B, C. How many ways are there to arrange the letters A, B, C? Let me just do it with a systematic list. You could start with A and then go B, C or C, B. Right? Those are all the ways starting with A. And then you could go start with B and go A, C or C, A. And finally, you could start with C and go A, B or B, A. So there's six ways to order the letters in A, B, C. There's six ways to put them in order. Now, why? why? Why did it turn out there are six? We see them. Here's the six. But what's a quick way to see it? Well, you could think about it. If you're going to select one of these ways to arrange or put in order the three letters, ways to arrange or order three, whoops, three letters. There are six ways to put three letters in order. Why? Well, because when, if you think about all the different ways, when you choose your first digit, you've got how many options? Three options. You could choose A or B or C. In a sense, if we did a tree, you can choose A or B or C for your first digit. And then for your second digit, now you have two choices left, don't you? Because if you chose A, then you could go with B or C. Or if you chose B, then you could go with A, whoop, A or C next. And if you chose C, here, let me clean that up a little bit, um, A or C. And if you chose C, you could go with A or B next. And then for your last digit, your third digit, you only have one digit left. Like if you did A and B first, you have to do C. Or if you did A followed by C, then you have to finish with B. Or B followed by A, then you got to finish with C. Or B, C, got to finish with A. C, A, all you got left is B. C, B, all you got left is A. So there's six total, right? Because there's two brand. Whoops, sorry, that's not true. There are three branches. And for each of these, there's two branches. So it's three times two, and each of these have only one option. So it's three times two times one. There's three digits that go in the first spot, then there's two digits left to go in the second spot, then there's only one digit. That multiplies out to be six. So that's just a quick formula way to figure out if you've got three letters, how many different ways are there to arrange them, to put them in order, it's actually 3 factorial, isn't it, right? 3 times 2 times 1, that's 3 factorial. That means 3 times 2 times 1. That's why they made up that exclamation point thing, because it comes up so often. 3 times 2 times 1, it's 3 factorial, which is 6. So what we see is if you have in letters, there are in factorial ways to order them in factorial. So then back up here on part A, parking, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different letters. So that means there'll be seven factorial ways to order the letters from the word parking. So use your calculator. That means 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Or you could, we could have just said, you know, you're gonna, you've got to pick a letter to go in the first spot, and there's seven options in the first spot. Then there's six options, six letters that could go next. Then there's five letters next, 4, 3, 2, 1. Same thing, whatever logic you want there. And so we do that. And 7... Times 6 times 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is 5,040. That's a lot, isn't it? 5,040 different ways to arrange the letters from the word parking. Now, part B, things are going to get a little more interesting. In part B, hydrologist, you might just say, well, 
Yeah, you just count the letters, right? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 letters, just 11 factorial and just multiply it out. But it's not that simple. This time we have repeating letters. See how we've got a couple of O's that repeat and I don't know if we have anything else. No other H's. Yeah, so what do you do when you have repeating letters? Let me... Let me show you what you do. Let's come down here now for part B. Let's think about the word Bobby for a minute. So the word Bobby has one, two, three, four, five letters. And so we would think, well, there's five factorial ways to put them in order. But the problem is some of the ways are really not going to be different. Here's what I mean. Let's, let's go back. Let's write Bobby again. And, um, well, let, let's actually, let's, let's put all the B's first. Let's go B, 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 O, Y. So I'm going to pick some particular ordering. Now, to tell the B's apart, let's call it B1, B2, B3. Now, really, they're different letters. I mean, they're the same letter, but, you know, this B is actually in a physically different spot than that B, even though they're the same letter. So, so in other words, there would be different ways. You could put, let me, let me show you all the ways. These are all going to actually be a little different because it's different Bs in the different spots. I'll show you. I know they all look the same right now, but you could go one, the, you could take, this is the B1, this is the B2, and this is the B3. So you could have the B, you could have them in order B1, B2, B3, or you could have B, the B1 coming first, and then the B3 followed by the B2. Now I know you're saying, well, those are the same word. Yeah, they are. But when I, if I say five factorial is the answer, I'm going to be wrong, because I would be counting these two as different. Right, Because I would be saying there's five different letters that can come first, followed by four different letters, three different letters, two and one, and then I need to multiply these together. Well, that's not correct because if you think that way, you're acting like all these letters are actually different, that we actually have five different letters where, when we don't. So how do we fix it when, when we don't really have five different letters? How do we... How do we fix it? Well, that's what I'm showing you right now. You've got to think about all the ways you can reorder the Bs. Let's, pre let's pretend they're all different. That's why I'm calling them B1, B2, and B3. I'm pretending they're all different, even though they're really the same, and I'm seeing all the different orderings. So it could be B1 coming first, followed by 2, 3, or 3, 2. Then it could be B2 coming first, followed by 1, 3, or 3, 1. Then it could be B3 coming first, followed by 1, 2, or 2, 1. Do you see how all six of those really are all, they're all the same ordering as we know it. It's B, 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 O, Y, B, B, boy. All of those are the same, aren't they? Really? All six of those. But if we just simply do five factorial, if we just do the problem that way, there it's going to say they're all different. When you do five factorial, you're treating all five letters like they're different. You're treating B1 like it's different than B2, like it's different than B3. And really, they're not different, as we know. They're not different. So what does that mean? All six of these become one BB boy, don't they? In other words, all the ways to mix up the three Bs are all really the same word, BB boy. So, and, and why are there six ways to mix up three Bs? Because if you have three Bs, that means any of the three of them could come first. And then any of the remaining two and the last one, six. In other words, three factorial ways to order the three Bs. That's why we got six. 
there are six ways to put those three B's in order, right? One, two, three, one, three, two. Two, one, three, two, three, one. Three, one, two, three, two, one. There's six ways to put those B's in order. So if we just do five factorial acting like all five letters are different, we're going to get the wrong answer. Instead, we need to take the five factorial and divide it by three factorial. Do you see that? It's five factorial divided. Why? Because we're, we need to take one-sixth of them. Because every six different ways of ordering the B is only going to produce one combination that's really different. BB boy. All six of those are really BB boy. So when we do 5 factorial, we've got to divide by 3 factorial. So what's that going to be? 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1. These cancel. It's just 5 times 4. It's just 20. So 20 is the answer. That's how many ways there are to mix up the letters in the word Bobby. There'd be 20 different ways. That's Bobby. Now, that's not really our, our question. Our question was hydrologist. So for a hydrologist, we have 11 different letters. So, so it's 11 factorial on the top. And then any that are repeating, you've got to put those down below. So we have two O's. That's two factorial for these two O's. Do we have any other letters that are repeated? I don't think so. I think all the rest are unique letters. So that's going to be... Um, let's back up here a little bit. So that's going to be... 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 whoops, times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1. And I'm getting a really big number. 199 so there's 19 million, 958,400, almost 20 million different ways to mix up the letters in the word hydrologist. So do you see how we need to do it? You do the total count, 11 factorial, but if there's repeats of anything, like there's two O's, you've got to put that factorial down below. That's exactly how we did Bobby. There's five letters, so you put five factorial on the top, but they're not all different. Divide by 3 factorial because that means every 6 that we treated like they're different will divide into 1. So that's how you handle that.